Hey, how's my least favorite daughter? Really, mom? That's how you greet your daughter? Shoo. I've got good news. This better not be about Bob, mom. Tina and I don't need a stepdad as cunning as that. Not that. So what happened? Guess what? I'm not guessing, Mom. Just tell me. You were such a killjoy. Anyway, I know this news may not sit well with you. But Tina is engaged with Kent the Millionaire. He finally proposed. Really? Are you for real, Mom? Of course. I'm so, so excited. I'll finally be the celebrity mom I've always wanted to be. This is big. Tina's finally getting married. Hmm, more like. Tina is finally wealthy. And I'm the lucky mother of the future wife of a millionaire. I can't believe it. We're going to be rich. We? Of course. After so many years of working so hard to raise you girls, it's finally paying off. I still can't believe it. I'm unsure what you're on about, Mom. Mom. I don't think Tina marrying a millionaire means we're suddenly rich. Oh, sorry. I said we. I meant I. I am going to be rich. It's obvious you like being poor. Mom, do you really have to make this about me again? I'm trying to make you see how Tina's upcoming marriage isn't a get-rich-quick scheme. You just don't get it. Your sister is finally marrying into a rich family. And? Kent, a successful businessman with plenty of property is about to spoil his beautiful bride Tina and meet her awesome mom. I'm the one who gave birth to the future wife of a millionaire. So it looks like I'll be rolling in some cash, honey. If you can't share in my happiness, at least sharing your sister's joy. Mom, I'm just saying, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Gosh, Zelina. Always so negative. I'm not being negative, Mom. I'm just being realistic. I'm not surprised. Don't you find it shameful that your sister is getting married and you're still single? Seems you want to remain single and poor. Mom, you don't even care about my feelings. Maybe I would if you would only have as reasonable as your sister. I'm not really surprised you would say so, Mom. Nothing I do ever sits well with you. Don't be so bitter, Zelina. You know, Tina's always been the special one. Yeah, Mom. I'm well aware of that. Anyway, my life is going to change for the better. Hello to a new house and classy outings. Hope so, Mom. The next day. Zelina? Zelina? Why are you not answering my calls? I'm here. Couldn't pick up. I was in a meeting then. Work? Yes, Mom. Some of us have to actually work. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing, Mom. Better. Something big just happened, Zelina. What happened? Mom? You won't believe what Kent got for Tina. He purchased a luxurious car for her. And is launching a clothing brand on her behalf. That's really something. I'm happy for Tina. Oh, silly me. That's not all. He also made park payment for a beautiful house for her. Tina is going to become a homeowner. Kent really is a gem. Tina is really living the dream. Yeah, Mom. Great news. Is that why you've been calling me, though? Don't be silly. Of course not. 
I need you to move out of your and Tina's room immediately after you get home. What? Why? Tina deserves to be treated like a queen. She shouldn't have to share rooms. She needs to have her own space and privacy until Kent finishes paying for the house. As soon as you get home, head over to the second guest room. Seriously, Mom. You want me to move out of my room because of a car and a house? The bed in that room is tiny. The room is covered in dust and it needs a lot of repairs. It's only going to be for a few days. Gosh, Mom, you're unbelievable. It's not my fault you chose to remain single and poor. If you're not moved to the second guest house by tomorrow morning, I will throw your things into the garage. Mom, you can't do that. Later. Where have you been? I haven't seen you all day. I'm heading over to Kent's. Hey, sis. What's wrong? Ugh, just mom being mom. Guess she's bragging about the engagement, right? More like making me feel like I'm a nobody. I'm happy for you, sis. I just wish mom could stop picking on me. Sometimes I really wish I could miraculously find myself in a different family. Don't say that, Zelina. You are in the perfect family. Yeah. Mom's really been bragging to everyone about Kent's gifts. But honestly, it's not as glamorous as she makes it sound. I figured as much. What's really going on, Tina? You can talk to me. It's like, yeah, we have all this stuff, but it doesn't mean much when Kent's always busy. I feel so alone. That's quite a lot to deal with. And that's not all. Kent's been acting strange lately. How strange? He's been so distant, Zelina. I tried to chat with him and he just seemed uninterested. He even scolded me for bothering him. That bastard. How dare he do that to you? That doesn't sound like the perfect Kent like mom has been painting. Are you sure you want to go ahead with this engagement? I don't know, Zelina. It's been like this for a while now. I feel so lonely, despite all the luxuries. Sis, maybe it's time to reconsider this whole thing. Life's too short to be with someone who doesn't value you. I wish it were that easy, Zelina. The wedding is in two months. What do I do? Follow your heart. Choose your happiness. Stay where you are appreciated. Easy for you to say, Zelina. You have your secret. Special someone who treats you like a queen. Shush. Mum must never find out. I wish Kent was this kind as Adam, but I guess you can't have everything you want. I'm sorry you're going through this, Tina. You know, you can talk to me anytime, okay? I'll pull through it. Thanks, Zelina. You're the best sister ever. I love you too, sis. By the way, I won't be staying in our room anymore. Why? Well, Mum kind of like kicked me out. Wait, what? The next day. Sometimes I really feel disappointed that I gave birth to a daughter as foolish as you. I wish you were exactly like Tina. Mom? What do you want now? I read your phone conversations with Tina, and I am not pleased. Why did you give her such terrible and gullible advice? Trying so hard to ruin her relationship, right? You read my phone? That is my privacy. Besides, I'm not trying to ruin anything. Tina is the one who feels unloved in her relationship. Nonsense. What do you even know about love or dating busy rich men like Kent? Tina confided in me, okay? 
she is my sister, and I was just trying to be there for her. Besides dating a preschool teacher, what do you know about love and success? What? How did you know about that? Tina didn't tell you, did she? Of course she didn't. I have my way of finding out things. Thought you could hide your poor teacher boyfriend from your mother, huh? Mom, Adam is more than just his job. He's kind and loving. We're happy together. Exactly what a poor, confused girl would say. Your sister is marrying a handsome, successful man. Can't you be like her for once? You really should stop comparing me to Tina. Well, Zelina, I'm going to Katie's baby shower tomorrow. And you're no longer invited. You'd only embarrass me there. What? I was really looking forward to that. If you can get a boyfriend that's half as rich as Kent, then you can come. I already have a boyfriend. Boyfriend? That thing is worthless and should be discarded. If my friends inquire about your relationship. And what a shame it would be if you said you were dating a preschool teacher. So don't come. Over one month later. Mom, you won't believe what I found today. What could that be? I found my chief bridesmaid's gown in the trash, torn and burned. Oops. You did it right? You tore and set it on fire, right? That's the only way to save everyone from the embarrassment you would definitely cause. What embarrassment? Don't you think you're really taking this too far? I am also your daughter. You can't be the chief bridesmaid, Zelina. So that's what this is all about? How much have you pitched in for the wedding until now? Nothing. You haven't put any money in. And just to clarify, I paid for the dress with my own funds, and it wasn't cheap. I'll have a chat with Kent, and he can reimburse me for the dress. It's not about the money. I want to be beside my sister on her big day. That's not going to happen, sweetie. Kent's younger sister will be the chief bridesmaid. She is dying too. She bought me some expensive pieces of jewelry. And that was enough to convince me that she was the right person to play the role. What a smart girl. How could you do that? I'm your daughter. Yes, the annoying one. This wedding is not a joke. I make the rules. Mom, is it all about riches for you? You're willing to hurt your daughter just because someone bought jewelry for you? Very expensive jewelry, Zelina. If you're so pissed about not being the bridesmaid, you may as well not show up at the wedding. No one would even notice your absence. Mom, it's not about the bridesmaid title. It's about family and love. There she goes again, trying to sound like she is smart. Anyway, Kent has completed the payment for Tina's house. We are moving in tomorrow. We? I mean, only Tina and I. Were you thinking I would let you come with us? I'm not going to let you infect Tina with your ill luck. I don't think Tina would appreciate you moving in with her. Unlike you, Tina is my subservient daughter who does everything I say. She never talks back like you. Now, see where that landed her? She is about to become the wife of a millionaire. Something you would never attain. Two weeks later. Zelina. What's taking you so long? The wedding is in a week. You should already be at Tina's house helping with the wedding preparations. Mom, it's been two weeks since we last spoke. You asked me not to come with you, remember? Well, I had to make sure Tina's relationship with her fiancé is secure. I know you'd do anything to ruin it. Not this again. Anyway, now that your sister's wedding is near, I need you to help with errands. 
Fine, I'll come. But it's only for Tina's sake. That's my girl. And one more thing, dear. What's that? I hope you're not planning on doing something silly. Like, bringing that poor preschool teacher of yours to the wedding? Gosh, Mom. You're so unbelievable. Don't even think of it. See you at Tina's place. Two weeks later. You won't believe what I just found out. My life is falling apart. What? Tina, calm down. What are you talking about? It's Kent. He's secretly a smuggler. The cups are on to him, Zelina. Oh my goodness. Kent is a smuggler? I can't believe it. This is so shocking. It's hard to even process this. His wealth and everything he has, they are threatening to seize everything. Threatened to be seized? This is a nightmare. I'm so sorry you're going through this. We are finally sorting out the issues in our relationship. I can't believe you lied to me. It's all over. I can't be with him anymore, Zelina. What are you saying? Tina? The wedding. It's cancelled. I can't be with a criminal who could end up in jail anytime soon. He lied about his whole life. What else is a lie? His love for me and his promises. I can't even imagine how you'd be feeling right now. Discovering such a major deception is incredibly difficult. Right now, I need you to prioritize your own well-being and safety. Zelina, I can't believe I was such a fool. Mom didn't even help matters. She kept making me believe he was perfect for me. I feel so used and betrayed. It's natural to question everything, but don't worry. I'm here to support you through this. One hour later. Zelina, you finally got what you wanted, right? Mom, what are you on about? Oh, stop playing dumb with me. The wedding's off. You are happy now, right? You really think this is what I wanted? It's high time you stopped making baseless accusations. Mom, it's not my fault that Tina's fiancé got exposed for his illegal activities. Aren't you scared that your daughter almost married a criminal? Scared? You made me lose my good chance of being a rich mother. After all my years of sacrificing for you girls. Me? This has nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with you. You and that wretched boyfriend of yours. Mom, this isn't about Adam or me. Tina's mental health is at stake here. Don't you worry about her? I'm sure you did something. You'll do anything to ruin my happiness. Your happiness? You isn't at Tina's wedding we're talking about here? How you obviously pushed that cheap boyfriend of yours to find some dirt on Kent. So that you can ruin your only sister's wedding. That's a pretty big accusation. You jealous ingrate? I'm sure you've been planning this all along. Now you've poisoned Tina's mind against me. Mom, please lay off on the accusations. Why should I? This is your doing. I've been trying to convince Tina that the wedding can still be held. But she won't listen to me. Mom, I didn't turn Tina against you. She's an adult and can make her own decisions. I believe the wedding should not be cancelled. There's still a way out. A way out? There is none. We can hire good lawyers who can prove her fiancé's innocence. Make it look like Kent was blackmailed or something. Wait. You're suggesting we frame Kent as if he was blackmailed? That's absolutely shocking. Why do you protect outsiders instead of your own daughter? I can't believe you'd even consider such a thing. 
C. I hers a frozen credit account. But I know Kent has some money hidden somewhere. He can still get good lawyers, give them lots of money and win the case. We can even find a lawyer who is ready to, you know. Do what lawyers do. What do you even mean? Telling lies, of course. Mom, are you serious? You want Tina to get married to a criminal? I want what's best for my daughter. We can let her throw away everything just because of this misunderstanding. Mom, there are some things more important than money and status. Tina doesn't deserve to be with someone who truly loves and respects her. Not a criminal like Kent. I don't want her poor and unhappy like I am. She needs to be everything I am not. Right now. I need you to call and get her to change her mind. What? I won't do that, Mom. I get that you're concerned about Tina ending up in a tough spot. But. I'm pretty sure she doesn't want to spend her life with a criminal. That kind of life doesn't bring her happiness. Don't lie, Zelina. I know you've been filling her head with your lame ideas. She used to listen to me. Mom, it's not about me or you. Tina's happiness is what matters most. If she's made this choice, it's because she believes it's the right one for her. She doesn't know what she's going. She doesn't know what she's doing. And she won't listen to me anymore. I won't forgive you for turning my daughter against me. You don't even care about Tina. All you care about is the car and the house that Kent got her. Well, come to think of it, it's a good thing we still have the car in the house. Oh my god, you're unbelievable. Well, you've won, Zelina. You've stolen Tina away from me. I hope you're proud of yourself. What? I never wanted to come between you and Tina. I hope one day you can understand that. I've had enough of your scheming. My mind is made up. No daughter of mine should behave like you. Really, Mom? Fine then. I'm disowning you. What? Disowning me? I can't believe you would say that. This is incredibly hurtful. I never thought you'd do this to me. I will. Over and over again. By the way, our rent expired and I'm not renewing. I am moving elsewhere. I'm sure you don't care about the new location, so there is no need to tell. Have a great life. Mom, you really do this to me? Fine. I don't need you. Tina is more than enough. One week later. Zelina? Where are you? Everything is falling apart. Oh, now you want to talk to me? After disowning me, I have nothing to do with you. Zelina, now is really not the time. It's all over. Everything is gone. What do you mean? The cops came over two days ago and confiscated the car and the house. They say it was gotten through fraudulent means. I was thrown out of the house like a beggar. Oh. And I haven't seen Tina since then. Where is she? Tina is with me now. Where are you both? I've been in a shelter for the past three days. I'm out of cash and I'm hungry. Tina believes you'll sort yourself out. What does that mean? Let me talk to your sister. She's not replying to my texts or picking up my calls. Because she doesn't want to. Stop fooling around, Zelina. Let me speak to your sister. She knows you don't care about her. And that you treat her badly now that she doesn't have a rich fiancé. What do you mean you're leaving? Well, you don't really care about me. 
So you don't know what I have been up to? And what have you been up to? Hurry. Tell me now. I've had enough of how you treat us, Mom. And there's something you need to know. I'm leaving the country. Remember when Adam was a preschool teacher? Well, he had this amazing idea for an educational app that could revolutionize the way kids learn. He told me about his dream and I stood by him. We put in countless late nights working on it, giving our all to the project. We believed in it so much that we even dipped into our savings to hire developers who shared our vision. And the app took off. Parents and teachers loved it. It started with a few thousand downloads, but now millions of people all over are using it. Millions? That's a lot. Yes, the app caught the attention of investors. They saw its potential and they poured funds into the startup. With their support, Adam is making the app accessible to kids all around the world. He is no longer a preschool teacher mom. He's now the CEO of a big educational startup. And now we're taking our mission to the US to make an even bigger impact. Oh Zelina, I had no idea. I've been so focused on Tina. I didn't take the time to understand what was happening in your life. Are you admitting you're wrong? This is new. Well, Zelina, I must say, Adam certainly sounds impressive, but... But what? You know, if you and Adam were to stay, we could help expand his business here. We have connections, you know? We? Yes. By we, I mean me, of course. I still have my connections. And who needs Tina anyway? Her rich fiancé turned out to be a smuggler for heaven's sake. Oh my gosh, mom. It's true. Adam has proven to be far more reliable and wealthier than Kent ever would be. That fool got his entire wealth confiscated. Zelina, darling, I'm your mother. I know what's best for you. Tell me where you are. Let me come get you. We can smooth things over. So Tina no longer matters to you? Gosh, you are despicable. Adam and I are leaving next week. What? Why so soon? Oh, and Tina will be joining us soon. We are going to employ her. What? You two are abandoning me here? That's right. We have our own plans and we don't need your approval or disapproval. Please, Zelina. Don't go. We can work this out. Mom, you just don't understand. You've always shown favoritism towards Tina, treating her like the golden child. You made me feel like I was second-rate. You've ridiculed my choices. And downplayed my relationship with Adam. Now, you're mad that we're leaving? That is selfish, Mom. You've only cared about your image and wealth, not whether we were happy or not. Tina and I deserve better. And we're going to find our own happiness away from your toxicity. If you leave me, you'll be abandoning your own family. I'll be heartbroken if you go. I wish you would have thought of that earlier. Zelina, if you stay, I promise things will change. I'll become a better mom. Just give me a chance. It's too late now, mom. You already disowned me and I've moved on. Goodbye. Life has a way of imparting unexpected lessons, and in the aftermath of everything, Tina and I reached a pivotal decision. We opted for each other and the happiness that is rightfully ours. Meanwhile, Mom is in the process of finding herself, currently employed as a house sitter. They often say that time possesses the power to heal wounds, and perhaps, in due course, I'll discover the capacity to forgive her.
Yet, for now, I require this time for healing, to mend the scars of a past where I felt unseen and invisible. Oh, and a beautiful development occurred, Adam proposed. I'm on the path to marriage. Mom won't be part of it. Sometimes, one must release those who've caused pain, even if they're family. Ultimately, it's about finding your own happiness, carving your unique path, and embracing the people who genuinely love and support you on that transformative journey.